Welcome to my switching routing and wireless essentials course. This should be the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is the second of three courses. Welcome, lab 16.3.1, troubleshooting static and default routes. So I've had my route uh, lab open for a few minutes. And first thing I want to do is I want to try pinging from R1, sorry, from PC1 to R1. So ping R1, 172.31.1.1, and it works. I want to try to ping uh, R2's interface, 172.31.1.192. One ninety-three. So I'm pinging this guy right here. Doesn't quite work. Could be an ARP. Not quite sure. Nope. Two uh, timeouts. Probably not ARP. So first error that I'm seeing is we cannot communicate between R1 and R2. I'm going to get to my exact mode. I'm going to do a show IP route. Well, the first thing I am noticing is the default route. Is not the correct information. We need to change the static default route to uh, the correct network. So, well, here we have 172.31.1.192. That's the network ID. That means one is 193, one is 194. 195 is a broadcast address, so it can't be 195. Conf T. I wanna go ahead and do no IP route. Quad zeros, quad zeros, 172.31.1.195. It should be IP route. Quad zeros, quad zeros, 172.31.1.193. 193 is the next hop. That's one problem. So PC. One. Let's see if we can now ping it. Timeouts to be expected. All right, so that mini timeout is not expected. IP route zero 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 one thirty two thirty one. Dot one dot 193. 193 is the next hop. 192. Yes, yeah, that is the next hop. 131. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Show IP route. So it is actually showing. So we are processing traffic. Still not functioning. So there's more going on than just that. All right, so that tells me, let's go and hop on R2. Enable, show IP route. So we have two static routes and here we have 172.31.1.0. This is our network to our LAN 1. And that is actually incorrect. So they flipped these two addresses. So what we need to do is get our global configuration no IP route 
Okay, I'm gonna do this a bit easier. Show run. So yeah, these routes are incorrect. Copy. This route, the 172.31.1.0 should be going to 194. I'm deleting the first one. And this guy right here. should be going to 198. So they just flipped the fourth octets, so I removed them and then I re-added them. And pinging is now working. So we fixed two problems. One on R1, one on R2 for IPv4. So Next, let's go ahead, since we are already looking at the route table on R2, to so show IP route. I want to see the IPv6 route table. Like I suspected, if they fat fingered one, they would fat finger IPv6. So, to go our static route to 2001 db8 colon 1 network. It's this guy right here. It's db6, not db8. So get to our global configuration. Actually, I'm going to do a show run. I'm going to get to my global configuration. I'm going to be deleting this guy, so no. Fixing the 8, getting rid of the no. And plugging it back in. So that is a third issue. So we should have actually already taken care of three issues. So we fixed R1, we fixed R2, let's go ahead and look at R3. Enable, show IP route. So let's go ahead, let's look at, do we see the networks? Do we see the network for R2? 172 Here we have network for LAN 1. 172.31.1.0 slash 28. Oh, slash 28 is incorrect. We need a slash 25. Conf T. What well, we're going to do, actually, I took that back. Show IP run. Or should that? Go run. So here we have our interfaces. So 172.31.1. That's the incorrect serial mask, or the in incorrect uh, subnet mask. Conf T, I want to delete it. I want to paste it again. I want to correct the subnet mask. Slash 25 is 255.255.255.128. We will get a message. Oh, I got the message because I messed up.
I did the wrong one. Looking at the numbers, it should be this guy right here. 172.31.1.0. Oops, if I paid attention. No. Get rid of that. Correct the subnet mask. 240 would be the slash 29. Oh, gotta get rid of the no in the front. We corrected the 128. So we are good there. Let's make sure we can ping the server. Ping 172.31.1.190. All right, so IPv4 functionality is there. We can ping PC1 to PC2, PC1 to server. So IPv4 should be taken care of. Let's go ahead, let's look at IPv6. Show IPv6 route. I cannot type today IPv6 route. All right, so there's things we're gonna notice is a directly connected route for R1 is missing. We have DB82, we have DB83, we have DB84 and 5. We do not have a DB81. So we need to go ahead and add that. Show run. Right, I do show one so I can show you how the router is configuring those routes. And because I'm lazy, I want to copy it. Conf T. I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to modify it so that it is network one. So we've now found five problems. Three dealing with IPv4, two dealing with IPv6. We have five issues, and we've found five issues. Let's check our results. That is a little weird. Completion is 100%, so we should be good. Yeah, bug and package tracer is not letting us check our results for our troubleshooting, but that is the five main problems that are found in this packet tracer. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.